Are you tired of paying way too much for pre-made washes and then burning through them way too quickly? Well today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make two different types of washes. The first with materials you probably already have in your house and the second with materials a little more expensive but still way cheaper than this. And then we're gonna compare the two. So let's get crafting. So I'm gonna start off with this tutorial with a mini tutorial on how to build ruined wall terrain. Because we need something to test our washes against, I figure this is a good time we throw in a little build here. So we're gonna start off with some styrofoam bricks and we're going to uh, base it on some cereal cardboard. So I just broke down a, a cereal box and we're just going to cut it into two smaller shapes here. And I'm gonna start to cut an L shape kind of organically uh, to start basing our terrain on this because I'd like uh, the ruined wall to be right at the corner. So that's why we're doing the L, but you feel free to, uh, you know, make your wall terrain however you would like to. So I'm just gonna make two and I'm gonna make them similar so we get a good comparison with our washes. So we're gonna just start laying on bricks directly onto the base, uh, really quick and easy. And now these bricks, if you're curious about how I made them, I have a whole YouTube tutorial on how to mass produce these bricks um, for all of your uh, stonework builds. So here we're just laying them on and every once in a while we're going to start like ripping a brick or two apart so that we can get that kind of ruined wall look. And uh, it goes pretty quick. You can just stack them up however you like to. You can do a full ruin like this. Um, so we're just going to do a fun time lapse. So now that we have our two pieces of ruined wall, I'm going to take you through a bit of the process of how I base coat and paint these before we get to the washes. So I start off with a Mod Podge and black paint mixture. This just helps uh, you know, seal the terrain, makes it a little bit more rigid and durable. Um, so it's just a little bit of Mod Podge and then mix in some black paint. You can use other colors depending on what you'd like your base coat to be. But for stone, I typically like black. So we're gonna mix it together and then we're just going to start coating the entire piece in this. And you can be pretty liberal with the black paint, but you just wanna make sure that you don't go too thick that you lose the detail. Now we're gonna start with something I like to call the undertone with a caramel and coffee bean brown. Now, if you'd like to know more about how I paint stonework, you can check out my last YouTube tutorial is all about how to get some really great depth out of your stonework. Um, I share tips, techniques, and processes on that, so check that out. So here, our painting is finished. So let's talk about washes. So you can buy pre-made washes like the Army Painter's Quick Shade or uh, ones like Citadel's Nun, Nun, Nun Oil. Uh, but the thing with these is, very high quality, but there's not a lot of them and they're very expensive. And one thing that really hinders my creativity is worrying about wasting premium products. These are really high quality, but I stick to using them for painting minis and I make my own washes for terrain. So let's get into it. So first we're gonna start with these spritzer bottles I found at the Dollar Tree, and these are really great for applying washes to large areas. You can still use a brush, but I find that the, uh, the mister is a great way to apply an even coat of wash. So both of the washes are primarily base is water, so go ahead and grab some water. And we're going to be using black paint for the coloration for our cheap option. Now, if you'd like to make a brown wash, just go ahead and use a brown paint or whatever color paint you'd like. And for the higher quality wash, we're going to be using an ink, an India ink, which is black. It's just a little bit more concentrated, but you can also use a brown ink if you'd like to make a brown wash. So then to help the wash uh, flow into the recesses, we're going to use for the cheap option, just regular old Dawn dish soap, and that's gonna help uh, the wash seep into the cracks. And then for the more expensive wash, we're going to be using Liquitex Flow Aid, 
and this product is specially designed to be mixed with paint. So you're not gonna get the same kind of foaming we're gonna get with the dish soap. So now we're gonna start uh, mixing it together. We're just gonna take the cap off and we're going to mix in uh, a, a small amount of black paint. So I would say about kind of, um, you know, eight to 10 drops of black paint. And now we're gonna be adding the, in the dish soap. So we're gonna get um, kind of, I did about two drops there and then it needs a little bit more. So you don't need much. So probably about four in total. Uh, and then we're gonna fill the rest up with water and we're not gonna fill it up all the way because we want to leave a little bit of room uh, for the uh, mixture to mix together uh, when we shake it. So we're just gonna cap it here and then just give it a really good shake. And this is going to get a little bit of foaming, like I said, going on in there, but that's totally fine. Uh, when we missed it here, we're gonna do a little bit of test on the towel, it's gonna be fine. Um, and we're gonna see here, you wanna make sure that it's not too pungent uh, because then it'll just black out your paint job. But you can see here, we're getting nice, a uh, little bit of transparency on the edge. So that's a good mixture. Now feel free to, to mess around with the ratios. This is just kind of a rough guideline. So now we're gonna do the more expensive wash and we're going to put in similar uh, ratio as the first. We're gonna put about eight to 10 drops of the India ink there. And again, feel free to play with these ratios, but you don't wanna overdo it. You can always add more later. So now we're going to be adding in the flow aid and I put about 20 drops in here. It's okay to do a little bit more of the flow aid because it is meant to be mixed with pigments. So once we get that in there, we're gonna just add in water, same as the other wash. And we're going to, again, make sure we don't fill it up all the way to the top so that we have room uh, to mix it when we shake it here. So we're gonna give that a good shake. And you can see there, it's not foaming uh, like the dish soap would. So once that's mixed together, we're gonna to do again our little test. Uh, we're gonna spray it onto the paper towel and you can see nice feathering going on, fading out. That shows it's a, a good ratio for the wash. Um, nice, nice pigment and fades out. So now we're going to just spray our builds with our washes and see how they work. So we're gonna go with the uh, the cheaper option first here, and you can see how the mister just makes it really easy to just coat um, a piece of terrain uh, very easily and very evenly. So we're just spraying on that wash, and you can see it's um, flowing into the recesses really nicely, um, and this is a great option for a wash, and uh, it's looking pretty good. So now we're gonna do the higher quality wash here, um, and again, we're just going to spray it on there, and. It's, uh, it's okay to go pretty liberal. You can also go afterwards with a paper towel and kind of wipe off if you've gone too heavy in some areas. You can see uh, how the higher quality, the ink and the flow aid is just a little bit more concentrated and uh, really seeping into the details just a little bit better. Um, but you can see here, both are very comparable uh, as far as washes and to the untrained eye, honestly, they're pretty much identical. You can see a little bit higher detail in the higher quality wash. But again, very comparable and both very affordable. So let me know in the comments what wash you think is better. And there you have it guys, the results are pretty comparable and both are gonna be way cheaper than anything you're gonna be able to buy pre-made. So go ahead and mess around with inks and paints and ratios. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. If you found this video helpful, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to join the Fantasy Forgers. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, keep on crafting.